In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you one way to do sgraffito on a clay tile. Sgraffito is a process of scratching through a layer of underglaze or colored slip to reveal the natural color of the clay underneath. It shows really high contrast. If you've ever drawn on a scratch board, this is very similar. This can be a very meditative process and one that looks good even with a simple geometric pattern. Now, you'll see me in this video use a drawing from my sketchbook, but you can absolutely do this process freehand. And in fact, I encourage you just to play around with the simple line drawings. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. The best stage of clay for this is leather hard to hard leather hard. If the clay gets too bone dry, the underglaze is apt to flake off in ways you don't want it to and the clay is also much more fragile and prone to breakage. Start by shaking up your bottle of underglaze. Make sure you have that, that lid on tight so it doesn't fly everywhere. This definitely happened before. We're going to start by applying the first of three coats of underglaze using your bamboo brush. Make sure you get all of the clay we need to let the layers dry in between. So you can see there's still some streaks that are still wet. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit longer. And now you see that it's all the way dry to leather hard. We'll apply the second coat going up and down and side to side. So you have an even coat of underglaze. Let it dry. You can see it's super shiny now. And now that it's a matte finish, you can add your, your third coat, third and final coat up and down, side to side. Take off the excess and do one final pass just so it's nice and even. Put away your underglaze, tighten the cap, and wash your brush. So swirl in the water, wash off with a sponge, and squeeze out any excess water and put everything aside. Now I chose to use a drawing that I, I have for my sketchbook. I took a photocopy of it and I'm just going to trace it. So using this pencil, I'm going to go over the lines of my drawing and it will press into the clay, leaving this ghost image. So you don't have to do this part. You can go right into Sgraffito freehand, or you can take something that you found on the internet and trace that. Anything that works for you to get this image. So now you can see that you can see this imprint of the drawing I just did. These are the tools you'll need, a pin tool, a sgraffito tool, maybe a loop tool, and a dry brush. You may not use all of these sgraffito tools, but I like to start with a needle tool or a pin tool that's the same tool. Just to get one thin line down, it's a good idea to have a variety of weights of lines, so thin lines to thick lines. Instead of using your hands to wipe away the boogers or the little clay bits, use this dry brush. It'll be much neater in the end. Next, I recommend using your Sgraffito tool. This will enable you to get a slightly thicker line than using the needle tool. Use the dry brush to get rid of all the crumbs, and then maybe you use your loop tool to get some thicker and wider lines of white. So it's a good idea when you're doing sgraffito that you have a good balance of white versus dark or black or whatever underglaze color you choose. You don't have to do the black. So while I was doing this sgraffito design, I realized halfway through that I have a movable object here. I can move it to the side. So it started to get a little bit awkward right there. So I just changed the position of the tile and it made it a lot easier for my hands to get the other side. If this was your last step in creating your piece, you can go right onto the greenware shelf. If you have more to do, put it into your box so it stays leather hard.